Well, hello out there. It's been a second. Welcome to the 2025 home phone system update. I can't believe it's been four years almost. A couple things have changed, mainly that I've moved. However, a lot of things are still the same, including free PBX. Now, it is on version 16 now, which did cause some issues when I upgraded. It actually kind of messed up SCCP. Ultimately, I decided to just do a fresh uninstall and reinstall of all the SCCP stuff to make it work. Quite honestly, now looking at that in hindsight, probably should have made a how-to video on how to install since so many people keep asking for that. But alas, I did not. But the console is still the same. A couple things have moved around. The 7975 is now here in the master bedroom. I actually did get the background working as well. So both my 7975 and 7965 both have working backgrounds right now. I'm not having them displayed right now for privacy. However, they do work, which is awesome. And I used to not have used to not be able to do that just because I was never able to get it to load to the TFTP server correctly, even though I followed all the directions. But I can't remember what I did to make the 7975 in particular work, but it works now and I'm super happy about that. But the phone still works great. A lot of things are still the same. The extensions are still the same. And the great thing is, is that even though I don't have the ability to do hardwired connections, you know, directly to a router, because it's still an apartment, which I don't own, the very nice thing is, is that I've been able to successfully establish a network of uh, Wi-Fi extenders and PoE switches to, to keep everything up and running. And the latency is basically zero, which is great. Kind of have everything PBX-wise running on its own network, so it doesn't really interfere with anything else I'm doing on home networks here. But you have the 7975 here in the bedroom, like I said. And then just to show you, there's the EX2700 from upstairs in the old apartment, or old house rather. And then all the way underneath here is the PoE switch. So this is actually, I think, the one from the bedroom originally in the old house. So things have moved around. I've kind of repurposed everything, but things still work great. And like I said, 7975 is working. You can actually see the home assistant in the back. I've been, you know, tweaking with that, but... I haven't had a lot of time to play with it and get settings working, but working on that too. I don't think it'll probably integrate into this, but it's kind of its own little thing in the back over there. But things are working well. We still do have the hold ability, so or park ability, so we can dial Two, our, par five, our parking. Seven, one. And yes, I did decide to replace my hold music with the... I feel like required Cisco hold music of Opus number one, but it's working great. Um, you notice right there, this again is running off a of Wi-Fi center and there's no latency whatsoever. So that's awesome. We'll take a quick pause. We'll show you uh, what we else we have set up in the system. So let's go take a look in the living room, which is now the new hub of the system. All right, in the living room now, right beneath my main TV is now the is that same laptop that was running everything a long time ago. So it's still running, still kicking, going strong, and it's now here in the living room because the the uh, router is right behind it. So this way, the um, network and the system is running directly into the home network instead of the previous setup where it was running off of the. Uh, Wi-Fi extender. So now it just connects directly in here and there's, again, very little issues with that. Let's see what else we have over here in the living room. We also have the 7962, or at least one of them. So actually in my one of my closets have all the other 7962s I don't use right now. Currently my setup only has three phones. I know I used to have a bunch of others upstairs in the old setup, but right now I don't need them and I'm not gonna unnecessarily set up phones, especially if there's one in the living room and the kitchen's right next to me. I don't need that. However, I did make sure to get the Bogan UTI-1 up and running again, which is now just right behind it over there. So again, still the Grandstream HT701 making that work and the UTI is right there. And then I have a little, well, it used to be a Bluetooth speaker. I mean, the Bluetooth still works. So I just don't have a need to carry that speaker around anymore. So I've just repurposed it into a paging speaker and we can dial the extension for that and, and we, we can, can still make pages, pages right over there, there down below works great now one other thing i think i've gotten working since the last video if you've noticed that when i dialed the paging extension it rang right away in the original video from 2021 there was a pause because it took a few seconds and then initiated the connection basically simulated the pressing pound since then, what I figured out was you can reprogram in the um, SCCP manager 
to basically make all the phones set up as internal transfers instead of just from internal for the dial codes. So instead of it just, you know, waiting a few seconds and then, you know, trying to hit pound and say, oh yeah, that's a valid extension and start dialing. The second it recognizes you, you have a valid extension, it'll just dial it right away. So for example, if you want to call the um, office, which is now 2502, just rings right away, which is great. So previously, if you remember from the old video when I demonstrated paging, when I dialed the code, it sat there for a few seconds. Paging code 6767, dial that, goes right away. So that's awesome. That's really nice. I mean, again, real, realistically, do you need it? No, but it's nice to have just a you know that save two seconds of that you know unnecessary wait. But so 7962 is here in the living room. Let's go check out the office. One other thing real quick, which I didn't show real quick. Right there, I decided to get a just, you know, basically wall version of a PoE injector. Since I didn't have a need to, you know, spend extra money to buy a whole PoE switch since it's just one extension out here. What this does is it runs behind the couch all the way over there. You can kind of see that's um, a TP-Link Wi-Fi extender. So that plugs into the outlet over there and then just runs the cable over here injects PoE into the phone, and then I use the PC port to provide network to the grand stream. So that's the setup over here. And then last but not least, let's go check the office. And last but not least, we've got our office phone over here, 7965, just right next to my computer and set up everything over here. So again, same thing, you can dial any extension you need, 2501, for example and everything works great. Now, one thing I also have working is 2501 is kind of my main number and my main extension. So if you dial 2501 and it doesn't ring for enough, it's actually gonna call my cell phone. So I believe it's, I forget what the exact time is, but I think it's like after 20 seconds or 20 or 30 seconds, something along that, that time frame. What it will do is start dialing my cell phone and ring that, which is its own extension. So if you dial that, which is 2505, It'll just ring my cell directly, which you'll see coming up on my watch in a sec. There you go. So I'm not gonna uh, show you what the number is, but it's right there. So that's the great thing about that. So again, if the office phone, which is, or sorry, the um, bedroom phone, 2501, doesn't get, uh, doesn't get picked up for enough time, it'll just start dialing 2505, which is a ultimately a follow me to my cell phone. So that's how that works. But that is really the current state of the system. It's you know minimalized, but it still works great. And then over here, by the way, I think it's connected to the power switch down there. There is a TP-Link extender for here as well. And then the original PoE switch is now what powers this one. So that's a current state of everything over here. I'll keep monitoring for comments and questions, but hope you all enjoy the update. I know it's been four years, but the system is still going strong. Wishing everybody a happy new year, very healthy 2025, and probably see you guys in four years for the next video. But for now, ta-ta.